Hello Biology 107 students. So in this video we are going to go... So here is what a typical egg rose gel might look like. I just found this from a Google image search. Uh, you can see uh, there's several samples loaded. One, two, three, and so on. Over on the right there's a legend. On the left uh, is representing these uh, uh, sizes of the molecular weight marker. So you can see each of these, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and, and 1.5, are representing the kilobase pairs. So kilo meaning 1,000. So for example, this is 3 kilobase pairs, or 3,000 base pairs in size. Um, and uh, you can also see up here, I put a negative and a positive, just to show where the charges are. DNA is negatively charged, so it runs towards the positive charge on the gel. And all these bands are separated out based on molecular weight. Here's a gel of our plasmid. It's highly concentrated. You can see right here is a supercoiled version. So supercoiled means it kind of looks something like this. Here, let me just draw it. Something like that. Compacted in a cell. The one on the right is linearized, so it's a little bit more floppy, kind of like that. So it runs a little bit slower on the gel. So here are our gels, gel 1 and gel 2. Uh, I have the labels. I'll show you that in a moment, and you can download those from the class Moodle site. Congratulations. These are some of the best gels I've seen in a long time in this class. Uh, and I think everybody's sample showed up here, which is also good. Sometimes people's samples don't show up. And uh, these ones are looking absolutely fantastic. So here's gel 1. You can see all the labels over there. And gel 2, the labels over there. So JJ, this is you. So Jaylin and Jen, those are your samples. I loaded them. So one, two, and three. So that's lane one, lane two, and lane three. So lane one is your molecular weight marker right here. Lane two is your plasmid. There's the plasmid right there. And lane three is the high molecular weight genomic DNA. So let's take a closer look at these. So up here, this is a sample wells. This is where you loaded the samples. This is the molecular weight marker. I'll talk about that in a minute, but each of these bands represents a different size of uh, DNA fragment. Here are the plasmids. So Jen and Jay Lin, there's your plasmid uh, right there. Looks pretty good. Here's the uh, high molecular weight genomic DNA. Now normally genomic DNA runs and it stays up here because it's very large. It stays in the sample wells. Uh, this stuff, this particular sample we bought, actually has been pre-fragmented. So it's fragmented into small fragments, so it ends up as a blob or a smear kind of down near the bottom of the, of the uh, gel. So here's a molecular weight marker. You can see that uh, there's bands here representing uh, certain sizes, so 23, 22, so 2,322 base pairs, 2,027 base pairs. There's a smaller fragment down here, 500 and 64 base pairs, and I have our gel lined up right here. So you can see the sizes. So here's our plasmid, and so if I have this figured out right, our plasmid is uh, somewhere a little bit more than 9,000 base pairs, so maybe around 10,000 ba base pairs, uh, give or take. It's a little hard to tell because I uh, clearly we loaded a lot of molecular weight marker in these bands kind of smear together but I'm guessing around 10,000 base pairs. So what do you need to do for your lab assignment? You need to make this thing look pretty so you can crop it and uh, you can show either the entire class results or just your results if you like. Uh, what you're going to do is give it some labels so you can see how I have this done. One, two, and so on with a legend over here. Make sure your legend is thorough. Don't just put uh, your initials in M or or G or P, make sure you label it plasmid or genomic DNA. Make sure you uh, describe which organisms these are from. The plasmid is from E. coli. The uh, genomic DNA was from salmon. You'll have to look up what the binomial name for salmon is. There's actually two types of salmon, Atlantic and Pacific. You'll have to uh, just choose one. I'm not sure which uh, where the DNA is from. Uh, your figure title is down here. It's going to have your species names in there, describe what was done, and that will be worth a few marks for your assignment. If you have any questions, please uh, send me an email, and uh, good luck with Lab 10.